Welcome to COVID Q&A, your questions, our answers. As the HSC community comprised of staff, students, faculty, and community members slowly begin its return to normal operations, it's important to continue educating ourselves about COVID-19. Today, I'm sitting down with Dr. Derry Raskob, Dean of the Hudson College of Public Health and the board chair for the OKC County Health Department. Dr. Raskob will answer a couple of questions for us today. Dr. Raskob, the first question we have for you is, what does a mask really do for me or for others? Well, thank you, Darcy, and thank you for the opportunity to uh, speak with the community and answer the questions. Um, a mask and wearing a mask when we go in public and in uh, meetings with others and when on our campus is probably the single most important thing we can do right now to limit the transmission and spread of COVID-19. And there are really two reasons to wear a mask. The first is that while we may not feel sick or we may not have symptoms ourselves, each and every one of us may actually be a carrier of this virus. And so what the mask does is prevent me, when I'm wearing a mask, from giving the virus to you through my respiratory droplets. So it's an act of wearing the mask to protect my fellow member in the community. What a great thing to do for our fellow seniors. And so if we all do that, then um, we can protect each other. However, the second point is that uh, data is emerging now and just this past week, a large study in The Lancet shows that at least N95 masks, which are really for healthcare settings, um, but simple surgical masks like this one here that I have, um, also probably do protect the individual wearing the mask from uh, transmission and will limit uh, the transmission. So it's a two-way a street and we can protect others and ourselves, but most, most importantly, we protect our fellow Sooners when we wear a mask. When I put this mask on like this, then I won't be giving the virus to you. And that's most important. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you all for tuning in to this week's COVID Q&A.